Hey, it's Clay Church, and this will be a video chart on the S&P 500. Uh, we've been tracking this one for a while now and want to get this updated. Um, missed out on kind of an important event. Uh, didn't get that documented, but uh, if you've watched my S&P 500 videos in the past, uh, you know we've always been talking about uh, this trend line here that's been kind of a thorn in the side of the, of the chart, but at the same time has also been a great example of the power of technical analysis. And real quick, what I mean by that is... Um, by using this point and then these points here, you can see how this trend line did a great job of forecasting where this resistance area would be. As you can see, price came up here, got knocked down. Price came up here, got knocked down. But finally, finally, and this was a big event, price has come up and broken above the trend line. And not only has it broken above, it's actually closed above and has pulled away. So that's a good little sign of strength there and what we want to see. Uh, today we had a little bit of a pullback, uh, so I would just want to get the chart updated um, more from a shorter term perspective. Um, this right here is more kind of the longer term, so that's where we stand there. Longer term, made a good move here, but now if we focus on a shorter term type view, what sorts of things are we looking for? And right now the main thing is just a, our kind of new support level that we formed. And actually, I take that back, there's two new support levels we formed. The first one being this tread line. This had been a resistance tread line. We've now broken above it, pulled away from it. So it's become uh, a support where if the price does pull back, ideally you'd like to see it remain above there. Um, so with that being said, what I need to do is change this to a green line to represent support. It is no longer uh, resistance. Uh, but this is what's also known as the dynamic support meaning that as time increases this line also increases meaning that the price becomes higher and higher each day in terms of what the actual support level is so that's one thing to keep in mind is each and every day that passes this line and therefore that price is becoming more and more so now let's just focus on some static meaning uh, the price doesn't change as time passes um, but the key one right now is simply where these highs were all at here. Um, uh, looking here, 1037, 1033, uh, 1039. So for argument's sake, we'll just say 1040. That's uh, the line where we'd like to see it hold on any sort of pullback. Um, with today's candle, uh, maybe this is telling us we got a pullback coming going into Friday and next week. Um, we were green on the day and then ended up closing red. Uh, so like I said, best case scenario is this support level holds on a pullback. But even if that fails, we still do have this support level sitting below us, which is a good thing. And then after that, we have uh, the support level down here a little bit more, right around uh, the about 1020 area. So a couple nice little support areas here um, below us. And really this one, if this one doesn't hold and this fails, so I'm going to make that a little thicker. Uh, that's where I'd become kind of worried not panicking but a little worried uh, because you know, ideally you wouldn't like to see it drop down that far but at the same time we still do have our 50-day simple moving average swooping upwards to provide support uh, and so forth so that's kind of a nice little cushion there um, but the part where you know I'd start to get a little more worried and panicky is if you know the price closes below this 50-day simple moving average but you know where we stand now we're not even close to that happening so I don't want to make it sound like uh, you know that's what's going to but uh, just one of those things where uh, we, we got a bit of a leeway that's what I'm getting at it was we have plenty of kind of cushion here if the price does decide to pull back on us a little bit because we have obviously been on just a huge beautiful whatever you want to call this move here the past few weeks so um, you know a pullback would probably be healthy for it and maybe hopefully produce another uh, type move like that um, and then just real quick we're gonna need to go to the weekly chart uh, try to find some uh, resistance levels but basically our, our closest resistance right now is just right up here at 1100 and I'm taking that by where this low and high is at if you draw the line over you can see that corresponds right with 1100 so that's where our, our near term support is or excuse me resistance in terms of you know what the overall chart you'd like to see happen um, so 1100 is the key num number uh, from that vantage point on things so if you have any other questions on the S&P, uh, please shoot me a message. 
Um, if not, if you haven't already, I'd encourage you to check out bullmarketnewsletter.net. If you go there and sign up for the newsletter, you will be sent a free ebook, which is getting really good reviews uh, and I'm getting good testimonials about it. It's helping people out, so I, you know, encourage you to check that out. Uh, besides the free ebook, you'll be subscribed. You'll get uh, chart setups, trading ideas, investment ideas, articles, all sorts of things, educational material from small caps up to uh, big boards. Yeah, all beneficial and you know best part is it's all free we've been making our members good money uh, having some real nice picks so it's worth uh, checking out and it's not going to cost you anything at all so um, sign up and give it a try once again this is the S&P 500 any questions uh, please send me a message have a good one